Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, aka Dr. Cellini, and today we are going to follow me around on a week of call. Let's go. All right, so it is now Tuesday. It is day number two of being on call for this whole week. Just got a call from one of the urologists that states that there's a patient with an obstructed kidney and they're actually doing okay right now, but it's 5.20 p.m. I literally just walked in the door. I could wait on this till the morning. It's probably not a good idea. So this is where the clinical decision-making kind of comes into play. Usually, unless the patient's doing very bad, I wouldn't come in overnight or after a scheduled shift, but the patient is doing okay which means I could probably wait, but then you have to weigh other factors like the age of the patient, how many times this has happened to the patient, this kind of stuff without going into too many details to violate HIPAA. So we talked about it, me and the urologist or the urologist and me, whatever it is. I'm going to go and take care of that. I don't really have to do much because I used to have to go set up, make sure all the procedure supplies are in order, go transport the patient myself, do all the notes, all that stuff. But the IR techs are amazing. The IR nurses are amazing that I work with and they kind of get everything ready and they call me when they're ready and I just hop in my car, go to the hospital and put in a little neft tube. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Wait about five more minutes so make my way down there, put in a neft tube, which is pretty routine because it's not actually emergent. That way I don't get called in later tonight. This is called being a good doctor. <laughs> All right, so I realize I haven't really talked too much this week, but this has been my second week on call so far. It is now Thursday. So basically, let me just give you a quick recap because I've been a little MIA this whole entire week. So Monday, got back from Rhode Island, as you saw from my previous vlog, link up here. Tuesday was when I actually went back to work. Technically, I was on call Monday during the day, but I didn't get called in, so that's good. So it was technically a vacation day, so it went pretty well. And then Tuesday morning, woke up, went to a workout class, 5.30 a.m., went to work all day, came home around 4.30, and then at 5 p.m. or whatever it was, I got called, which you saw me talk about that at the beginning of this video. Did a nephrostomy tube, did that pretty quickly, came back and had dinner with my mother-in-law. Then Wednesday, worked all day, didn't get called in Wednesday. Today is now Thursday and went to workout class this morning, which is why I look so tired. Now I'm about to go to work right now. It's currently 7.45. So I'm going to go to work now and uh, see where the week takes me. Also, today I have a lot to do because tomorrow, well, for one, let's talk about this beard because it's terrible looking. I haven't shaved, just haven't had time to. But this weekend, I'm flying somewhere I've never been before. So stay tuned for that. What a beautiful day, beautiful. All right, so the first thing I do when I get here is I see what's on the actual list for interventional today. So it looks like we have tunneled pleural catheter, two nephrostomy tubes. What else do we have? So inpatient stuff, a port, a lung biopsy. I think we start with a pleural catheter and then go to two nephrostomy tubes. So that's the plan today. And uh, I'll keep you posted on today. Today's Thursday, by the way. I probably should have been doing this the whole week, but you know, things got away from me. Just as an aside, has anybody ever tried this mush overnight oats? Got them at Whole Foods, they're actually pretty good. Only like 240 calories, solid breakfast, 10 out of 10. All right, folks. So just finished that nephrostomy tube that we were talking about earlier. It was kind of a joint procedure with urology, which if you remember a long time ago on one of my videos, I always say that I almost went into urology and the reason I liked it was because of procedures. And then I also mentioned how much we work together with other specialties, which is why I like IR. This is a perfect example of that. Hold on. So this patient has a very large stone in their kidney. The urologist actually went into the OR earlier today, placed a catheter all the way up into the collecting system retrograde. And what we did was inject it with saline during our procedure to kind of fill up the kidney so that we have some sort of target under ultrasound. So once we fill up the actual kidney with saline, I can see the dilated collecting system, stick a needle into the collecting system under ultrasound and then place a drain that way. The reason I did this is because so that tomorrow the urologist can access that drain with a wire, put their scope in, put their stone blasting stuff instruments in there and uh, take care of the stone. So this is just a perfect way that urologists and interventionists work together. Ah, 
so it looks like nothing has changed since I left this morning. But you may be wondering why the heck I'm walking outside with the umbrella so much. But right now, you know, since I told you I'm leaving to go out of town tomorrow, first and foremost, we have to get a haircut. And as you know, finding a barber when you move to a new location is probably the scariest thing that one can do as a male. But nonetheless, heading to a barber, I've already been with them one time, did a great job. So uh, we'll see how number two goes. All right, folks, so just got my hair cut. Look at that fresh fade. We're digging that. So I cleaned up and the only thing left I have to do is shave this ratty face of mine. But nonetheless, so I wanted to kind of come back here in my studio, it was raining outside. I didn't want to vlog anymore. I didn't want to do all that stuff. Finishing up my week of call. I don't have to take call through the weekend because I'm actually going away this weekend on a bachelor party to Charleston, which is awesome. And had a pretty busy day today. The thing with private practice is, even though I'm on interventional radiology this whole week and I'm on call this whole week, I still have to read a lot of diagnostic studies in between cases and it can be pretty stressful so I'm bouncing around constantly room to room to room doing stuff taking care of stuff I'm also supervising a lot of PAs throughout the day as well you know I kind of have to oversee everything because at the end of the day it's my name on it which is it's kind of a lot when you just start out as a new attending but obviously I'm adjusting to it I love it everything's good I don't really understand the point of this video I was trying to film like a cool like on call week but I don't have the same amount of downtime that I used to have in fellowship so in fellowship you may remember that I would go into a case and then I would have like another hour and a half between cases or whatnot. Now I'm bouncing into a case and go straight into like clearing my whole list of chest x-rays or ultrasounds or what have you. And then I go back into another case or whatnot, which is good. It keeps you busy. And you know, like today, I didn't even notice that it was two o'clock already, which is crazy. And the time just like flies by when you're busy, which is what I like. And it allows you to get out at a reasonable hour. So like today, got out at 4.15, went and got my hair cut at 4.30, which is crazy. I could have never done that in fellowship, but nonetheless, here we are. So I will do some final closing thoughts here. I'm not gonna film tomorrow because I have to get this video uploaded, have to edit it and post it on Sunday. And I won't be able to do that because I'll be gone starting tomorrow. So tomorrow is a super busy day. Start off with port biliary stint and I forgot what else I'm doing. Something other, a couple of biopsies and whatnot, but nothing too crazy, but it's busy and I have to get out of there on time because I have to catch a flight to Charleston. So I'll stop rambling. Hope you all enjoyed this crazy nonsense cool video. And uh, if you like it, I'll do more of these and kind of fill you in on my weeks when I'm on IR call, if you want to see it. Also, once I get more used to the hospital and all that stuff, I want to start filming like some educational procedural videos, which I think will like be staples for my channel and people will learn a ton from like simple procedures like paracentesis, thoracentesis, a port, central line, all that stuff. So let me know if you want to see that. And uh, oh, Adriana just got home. Sorry. Hey, babe. <laughs> So I'm gonna go hang out with her before I leave for tomorrow. Otherwise, smash like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and YouTube if you don't already. YouTube, TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you all on the next video. And hopefully I'll have a shaved face next time. <laughs>